So let's take a look at a concept relevant to voltage regulators called line regulation. Now, a voltage regulator is typically defined by a number of quantities, one of which is the line regulation. The line regulation basically quantifies how the regulator operates when there is some disturbance in the line or supply. In electrical engineering, the word line is typically referring to su supply voltage. So when I say line voltage or I say line, I'm really referring to the supply or VCC as drawn in this circuit. Now, typically in an introductory electronics course, the, the main regulator will be either some sort of diode regulator or a Zener diode regulator. In this case, we're looking at a Zener diode regulator. So we have our basic setup, a sum resistor R, the Zener diode in parallel with a uh, load, which is given by that little box there. And on the left, you'll see that we have a general circuit where we have VCC written in terms of a, well, basically two components. One is a fixed component and one is variable. Because if you think about it, any voltage signal or any voltage uh, source can have a fixed value and then some sort of disturbance or noise or whatever you want to call it. Um, before we jump into that, if you notice at the top, we've given a definition. The line regulation is defined as delta VO over delta VCC. Again, the change in output with respect to some change in input. As I mentioned, the input is the supply or the line, and the output is, well, it's the output, the voltage that the load sees. So in general, when we have a circuit like this, we can apply superposition, which is what we've done, and you'll notice we have a circuit on the in the middle here, which is our fixed circuit. So this circuit here is fixed. All the voltages here are fixed. And all the voltages here are variable. And now what we've done essentially is we've taken this Zener diode, and if you don't recall, then if you can just look, take a look here, you notice that the Zener diode can be re represented as a voltage source in series with a resistor. Now, if I apply that model to this circuit here, and I separate it into a variable plus a constant, or fixed, circuit, then you'll notice that the fixed circuit looks like this and the variable circuit looks like this. So let's just take a second to actually understand what's going on here. I have the fixed component of my supply or my line, VCC, capital VCC that is, and I have the resistor obviously doesn't change because the resistor is a resistor. Uh, we have here RZ, which is that fictitious resistance that we give the Zener diode. And I have here VZ0, which is, again, that fictitious sort of voltage that we give it to use as a model, basically. Now, that is in parallel with our load, VO. Uh, this circuit, I believe, should be simple enough. Now, this one here might cause a little confusion, so let's take a look at closer look at this one. Basically, what I've done here is I've considered the variable component of the circuit that we had all the way on the left here. So the variable component is that small change that can take place in the supply or the line delta VCC, and I have here some change that could take in the output that can be, sorry, that will, will be seen, I guess, essentially in the output, because if you have some change in the input, you expect the output will change because the overall voltage levels of the circuit are changing. So that circuit on the right is the thing that we really need to analyze because the reg line regulation is quite clearly telling us that the line regulation defines the output or the change in output with respect to the change in the input. Now you'll notice in the variable circuit, there is no VZ0. You'll notice this thing doesn't exist because in the model for the Zener diode, we assume that it's a constant fixed DC source. So now what we're going to do is we're going to apply some basic circuit analysis and we're going to go through how we can actually derive an expression for the line regulation of a Zener diode. So we first treat this as a superposition, we've established that. Now what we need to do is analyze the circuit on the right. Now if you want to get the expression for the output voltage in terms of the supply voltage, it's really quite simple in a circuit like this. We're going to use voltage division. So what does this voltage division look like then? This voltage division here, we can say that delta VO is going to equal RZ divided by RZ plus R times delta VCC. And if I just go up here for a second, you'll remember that delta VO divided by delta VCC is the line regulation. So all I really need to do is just divide that out and we're done. So I have delta VO divided by delta VCC and this equals RZ over RZ plus R. And that's it. That's the expression for the line regulation for a Zener diode. Now the thing to take away from this is that the 
this line regulation or the change in output or the change in with respect to the change in input depends directly on the Zener diode itself as well as the resistor in the actual regulator. It doesn't depend on the load at all because this is the line regulation. This is talking about the supply side. Now, I mean, practically speaking, you would want this number to be as low as possible because you want any changes in this line to be minimal uh, in terms of the operation of the actual regulator. Uh, so if I change the supply voltage by, let's say, one or two volts, I want to see minimal changes on the output. Uh, practically, and I well, not practically, I should say, ideally, this change would be zero. As close to zero as possible in practice, uh, and absolutely zero in the ideal case, or as close to zero as, I mean, again, you can notice here that we'll never actually get zero because it's a, this uh, division here, this uh, fraction can never be zero, but it can be very close to zero. And so that's what we try to go for when we design um, regulators with a you know practical thing in mind. So now let's take a look at another concept called load regulation. Now it's similar to the line regulation, except this one is basically a, a measure of how the output changes when something, or the output voltage changes when something in the output changes. Uh, what is that something? Output current. So basically this measures how my output voltage changes when my output current changes. Now. You might wonder, well, wait, how would that ever happen? If you think about this, the, the Zener diode will basically fix the output voltage at some value. Well, ideally, it'll fix it at some value. Now, let's say I change my load. Let's say I change from charging my Samsung or my iPhone, or, and then I start charging like a tablet or something instead. Um, and that tablet has a different resistance, let's say. Then the current that that thing draws will also be different. So now my regulator needs to be able to still maintain that voltage level despite that change in current. Now, the load regulation basically will define how that regulator's output voltage will change with respect to that output current. So again, we have the similar concept. We have that general Zener diode circuit. We have it split into two, uh, the fixed and the variable component. And we're assuming VCC is fixed because we're assuming that the changes only take place in the output. Nothing else is changing. So we're saying if my supply, my line is fixed, if my output changes, what does that effect of the output change look like to the rest of the circuit? So again, by looking at that definition, that equation there, we see that it's really a quite simple process. I need to analyze that circuit on the right. And if I analyze that circuit on the right, it's a simple, very simple, about as simple as it gets, I think when it comes to solving these kind of questions, you'll see that delta VO is going to be equal to RZ is in parallel with R, uh, and it's going to be multiplied by minus delta IO, because it's going in the opposite direction of the actual um, polarity of the voltage that I've defined there. And so delta VO over delta IO is going to be minus RZ in parallel with R, and that is, by definition, the load regulation of a Zener diode regulator. Now, again, the process of these, or the, the, the equations, or determining all this kind of stuff is very simple. And the concept itself is really quite simple as well. Um, but it's very important to understand that the regulator must, or should, hold the voltage fairly constant, despite changes in, let's say, the output, the load, or the input, like the supply. Um, so that's what we've taken. Well, that's what we've seen in this video. And just to recap, line regulation it relates to how the output changes with respect to the input, and load regulation is how the output changes with respect to the load. So how do, if my load changes, how does the capability of my regulator change? How, and again, we want this value to be small as well as, as we wanted in the previous case. Because if my out, my load changes, I still want my voltage to be fixed at five, for example, even though my my voltage or my uh, output current changes. So my, I might change from charging a, a tablet to a cell phone, but I still want my output voltage to be five volts. Because I don't want it to be like, I mean, the, the two might need the exact same voltage, right? And I don't know what the actual load characteristics of the phone or the tablet are, but I know I need five volts. So even if it changed, even if it draws more current, I should still be able to maintain that five volt uh, level. So in future videos, we'll take a look at how to apply this concept to a specific design question. Um, and if you haven't already, you'll have to go back and take a look at the Zener diode regulator and how it works and all that kind of stuff. Because this again is a more um, in-depth look at the actual regulator. 
This is not a, I mean, the Zener diode itself is, is a whole topic to be discussed. So if you haven't already, take a look at the video where we actually discuss the Zener diode regulator. And if you haven't looked at the Zener diode regulator, uh, go do that. And if you need to take a look at the Zener diode, then there's a separate video for that. So again, I'll link all those videos below and you can take a look at all of those. Um, and that'll be really helpful for you. And other than that, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you get notifications when we do have videos up. And we'll see you in the next one.